Hey there, Gemini. Welcome back. This is Renee. Today we're going to take a look at love, money, and um, some general stuff. <laughs> right? So let's take a look. Let's see what comes out. Okay, so we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. So you could be in a like a honeymoon situation. This could be new love to where you are in that honeymoon stage. You know, you're kind of focused on each other. You're focused on the beautiful things, right? Um, or you could be literally going on a honeymoon after getting married. Or this could be coming very soon. But I feel like you're enjoying someone. Okay, let's get your money card. Okay, so we have you and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. Okay. So you have safety. You know, at the bottom we have stepping out of your comfort zone. So I feel like that's what you may need to do as far as your finances are concerned. It may, it may be time to kind of step out of your comfort zone because you have that safety right now. Right? You're being protected. So this is the best time to take those risks. You know, take that leap of faith as far as your finances is concerned. Okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at everything else. Okay, we have, we have compassion. Archangel Zadkiel, soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. So there may be a need to, you know, be compassionate. See things from a different point of view, a different side. You know, see everyone's, see the big picture. There you go. We also have nurture. Archangel Gabriel, as you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. Hmm. So there may be children in your life, Gemini. Okay. And at the bottom we have again, you are safe. So definitely safety right now. Archangel Michael. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and your home. So, yeah, you have protection and safety. So, okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at what is going on for Gemini. Oh, the Empress. You're taking on this Empress energy. You're focused on self. Beautiful, attractive, vibrant, full of energy, a higher vibration. I'm seeing all these things with this Empress. Give me more messages for Gemini. The Three of Pentacles. So I feel like you're teaming up with someone. There's some kind of action that's being taken. You could be traveling at the moment. Especially with this Knight of Wands and this Honeymoon card, there could be travel. Um, but I feel like you're taking on this Empress energy, okay? Um, very beautiful. A lot of people find you very attractive. They love your energy. Your energy is high, Gemini, right? People are drawn to you. You're like a magnet drawing people to you. And um, I'm really sensing that there may be people who are in a need of healing who really are drawn to your vibration because you're so uplifting, you're so happy, you're so vibrant, you're so, you know, you, you, you look like you have everything together on the outside. So you, you look so appealing, right? Even if you don't have everything together on the inside, you're kind of extruding that, that vibration of having everything that you need, you know? So I, I feel like people are drawn to you at this time. You know, you're this magnet, okay? And I feel like that's where this three of pentacles is coming about because I feel like 
you know, people want to team up with you. They want a partnership with you. They want to collaborate with you. They just want to be in your presence. It's like this Empress energy is just drawing people in. You know, you may have people just pass you by and, you know, really feel that vibration that you're putting out there and just automatically smile and, you know, feel that vibration themselves. That that's the magnetic energy that you have right now, Gemini. Okay, so very interesting and very beautiful as well, because I'm loving that energy for you. But I feel like, you know, not only are you in this vibration, but you're also a healer, Gemini. You're also a healer and a nurturer. So I, I feel like you are, people are drawn to you for that reason. Okay? So let's go ahead and get some clarity on this. Give me a message for Gemini. This, yeah, see, you're a healer. People view you as a star. There's a lot of communication. There's a lot of action. Um, hmm. And we have this two of wands at the bottom. So definitely travel. Definitely travel. There might be some kind of unexpected travel that you're going on. Maybe you're going to see someone important, going to see that significant other, or they're coming to see you. Uh, but I feel like, you know, you're you're being viewed as this star. You're being viewed as this star, this healer, this um, beautiful energy that has a lot of balance, right? And you can also be secretively healing, Okay, but I feel like there's someone that you're talking to. There's someone that is like keeping your attention, but I feel like things are also moving very fast for you. You're not quite able to slow down, Gemini. It's hard for you to find time to get things done because I feel like there's so many people who are occupying your time. Okay. Um, when you're trying to get something done, you may be interrupted by a phone call. You may be interrupted by things at work, be interrupted by a significant other wanting your attention, you know, but I, I feel like you're constantly being interrupted from something. It's very interesting. Okay. Tell me about Gemini's money issues. I don't see a whole lot of love here. I see a lot of attention. But I don't see one particular person, Gemini. So that's very interesting. But I see that you are getting a lot of attention. You know, there's a lot of people who want to spend time with you. Okay, tell me about Gemini's money. Tell me about Gemini's money. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. Whoa, okay. The Five of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so I get it. Gemini, I, I get that your focus hasn't really been on the money lately. You know, there's been other things occupying your time. Maybe your money issues have been lacking at the moment. Your finances aren't exactly the, where you want them to be. But there is this change coming through. Okay, so there is this change, this wheel of fortune energy, this turning point to where you're going to get back on focus. But I feel like, you know, there was a time when you just needed to take time out. Maybe you weren't watching your pennies. Maybe you weren't saving. Maybe there, you know, there was too much going on and you had more to focus on. But I feel like that's changing. We also have the sun at the bottom. So there is abundance coming through for you, right? And um, we also have the three of wands. So I feel like you are more focused. You are able to go after what it is that you want to pursue. We have the ten of cups too. 
So all the opportunities may not be stable for you at this moment. Um, there may be someone trying to come in to offer you some kind of opportunity that isn't going to pan out. Or beware of scammers because, yeah, they're just trying to take your money, right? Um, but I feel like you're waiting. You're patiently waiting for the opportunity to come through for you to be victorious. And, and I feel like, yeah... Right now, your money issues just, they aren't where you want them. All these pinnacles are upside down, right? So I feel like you may have more money going out than you have money coming in. So there is a place to, there is a time to place your focus on the pinnacles, right? Because right now, all of your pinnacles are upside down, right? So I feel like money... It's just not your focus right now, you know. Um, once you have your mind set on your money again, then you'll go ahead and hmm, see that increase. Because right now, you just feel like the stability isn't there, you know. I'm not really feeling very independent. I really don't want to put in the work, you know. I really don't have all the answers. You know, all these cards are upside down. So definitely, you th there's a lot of things that need to be revealed to you. A lot of things are being secretive. You're not able to fully manifest, to feel balanced. Wow. Are all these in reverse? Well, no, you're still happy. Even though you don't have everything that you want, you're still happy. Okay? There's still a reason to celebrate. So, Gemini, I feel like you're going to get it on track. You just don't have it on track right now. You don't have all the answers. Um, and maybe you're focused on other things at the moment, right? Um, but I feel like your pinnacles is not one of them. Okay, But I feel like you're still happy. You're still happy and secure, you know? You're not wanting for anything, but you're not pursuing anything at the moment, neither. Right? So let's get some clarity for Gemini. Let's get some Gemini. Um, <laughs> let's get some clarity for Gemini. Okay. When will this money issue... Okay, you're looking for opportunities. I feel like you're waiting. You haven't given up. But look at this. The Eight of Pentacles is in reverse, but you still have strength. Hmm. You're being strong in your situation. You do have the Four of Pentacles in the upright, so you are protecting your finances. You are protecting... The things that you are bringing in, you know, you may be watching your pennies very wisely or, you know, feeling the need to balance out your finances. Uh, it may be that you just lost a job or you're just pursuing a new job or, or what have you. I'm not sure why your finances are all mostly upside down except for the four of pentacles. But the four of pentacles is still a good, a good card. That means that you are finding that balance. You're just not able to work on what's important as far as your finances right now. And I feel like it's, you're waiting for this opportunity. You're waiting for something to come through. You're waiting for something to finally arrive, right? There's something that you're not giving up on, okay? So I, I feel like this could be a job opportunity that you really want, you really love. You're not giving up on getting it, and you're not going to let down until you've got it right um but i feel like you know there are things that you're working on there are things that you fully don't understand you fully don't have the full capabilities of doing at the moment but you're working on those issues you're working on building that confidence okay so i'm getting it i'm getting it gemini i'm i'm a gemini son so i totally understand that 
you know, sometimes we lose our focus and sometimes we need to gain our focus again, right? So, yeah, let's take a look and see what's going on in the general messages for Gemini. What's going on for Gemini in the general messages? Ooh. The Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is still in the reverse. It hasn't moved around yet. So... I feel like there's some things that you're working on. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. What is going on, Gemini? What are you losing? This is so frustrating. Okay. The Ten of Cups reverse. Whatever you're focused on, it's not money or love, basically. I feel like you're focused on healing. You have so many priorities. Wow. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Four of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Wands in reverse. We have the Tower on the bottom. So I feel like, you know, everything is upside down at the moment. Everything is not going as planned, right? Um, nothing feels totally right. I feel like there's a lot of confusion right now. I feel like you may be waiting for something to fall. You're waiting for this tower. You're waiting for this tower to collapse. And I feel like that's where all this confusion is coming in at. Because I feel a lot of confusion. All of these cards are upside down in this general message. All of them. Okay? The Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the King of Wands and the Four of Pentacles, all upright. But this tower, I mean, all reverse, but this tower is upright. The Nine of Wands is upright, okay? So I feel like you're standing guard. You're waiting for this tower to fall, right? So I feel like there's a lot of confusion at the moment. There's a lot of things that you're just not sure of, that you're just waiting for change. You're waiting for change. You're waiting for this new... Um, situation to arrive you know um wow okay why is there so much confusion here for gemini tell me about the situation why is there so much confusion here for gemini why are all these cards in reverse Why are all these cards in reverse? Finding balance. You want something to be equal. You have the King of Pentacles. Someone, someone is... I feel like this could be a Earth sign with this king, king of Pentacles energy, someone has you in your feelings and it's like taking you off balance, right? This could be um, a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo as far as an earth sign. It doesn't have to be, but I feel like as far as everything, you're, you're trying to gain your balance. You're looking for that equal opportunity, that equal give and take in your relationships, in your finances, and you know, you're looking to be appreciated, to be loved, right? And I feel like you feel like you don't have that right now. You feel very off balance. Like you just want to get back on track. You feel like you can't find your path. You know, I feel like that's the reason why there's so much confusion. There's so much confusion going on right now. That could be the reason why you're like waiting for that tower to happen. Right? Because there's this negative energy that may be very deep down. Deeply instilled negative energy that may be a little bit harder for you to expose and release. Um, but I feel like there's a really big issue as far as feeling that, that balance. You know? Um, tell me more about this situation for Gemini. Give me more messages, please. Yeah, you're looking to get understanding. 
you're like someone could have been very sharp with you okay um someone may have been very blunt um and now you know you're you're just caught in your feelings you're you feel really exposed right um but you're trying to gain balance you're trying to work through the situation but it's going to take a little a little bit more time than you thought it would right because this is just like lingering energy it's like lingering confusion. You have this strength in other areas of your life. But in your general area, it's like you're just going with the flow. You're just going day by day. You're not able to fully get your stepping or, you know, get that balance. You know, you feel very uh, ignored and misunderstood. Okay, so... Huh. I don't know what's going on, Gemini. I'm so sorry. I hope you get through things. Let's get some angel cards for Gemini. Okay, we have soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand your connections between all things. So follow your intuition. We have two cards for intuition here. You know, the high priestess and the soul expansion. So you could be going through this growing phase, right? I feel like that's the reason why we have this compassion and nurture up here. And so much protection. If you remember at the beginning of the reading... You are protected. You are being protected. You are safe. You know, that's, a, that's why the angels were letting you know. You know, while you're going through this situation, Gemini, you are safe. You know? So, yeah. You're being divinely worked with right now, Gemini. Okay? We have focused intention. Think about what you desire and set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. So, of course, set your intentions, Gemini, and then expect the possible outcome. You know, expect the positive outcome. Okay? At the bottom, we have intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Okay, so let's go ahead and get your angel number for Gemini. Let's get an angel number for Gemini. What do the angels want to speak to Gemini? Angel number, please. Angel number, please. Okay, 1919 transformation. Yeah, you're changing. You're going through these changes. Okay. Um, it's asked that you take notice. That you hold within your hands the power to change your life. Within this realization, you will feel your sense of purpose and your connections to new beginnings. Okay. I didn't... I need to say that again. Right, Gemini? It is asked that you take notice that you hold within your hands the power to change your life. Within this realization, you will feel your sense of purpose and your connection to new beginnings. Okay? Have faith. You are protected. You're being guided at this time, Gemini. There's a transformation. There's a change. Okay? Your affirmation. I release what I no longer need to carry and I open myself to the transformative energy of the divine. Okay, so that is your message, Gemini. I hope this message finds you and receives you well. If this message resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more, right? But if this message is for you, like and subscribe if you haven't done so. Okay, and my beautiful, my lovely, my gorgeous Geminis. 
Many blessings to, to you. Until your next reading, love and light.